<sighs> you know what? I'm quite thirsty. I'm going to go for a tall, cool glass of Robinson's juice drink. Hmm, now let's check this fridge. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Uh, no, no. Nope, oh, certainly not. Uh, oh, hello, ciders. Hmm, don't think I want you tonight. Hello, what's this? Hmm, Robinson's cider? Who'd have guessed that on a cider show, eh? Let's roll the titles! I am a cider drinker! Yes, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Did the old bait and switch on you guys there, didn't I? Had you fooled? Well, probably not, seeing as this is a cider reviewing show, not a juice drinking show. But, it was quite aptly titled this one, because today's cider, as you probably saw from the intro, is indeed Robinson's Fine Dry Vintage Cider. This is the last bottle from my mixed case from purespiritdrinks.co.uk, and it's been sitting in my fridge for a little while, waiting to be drunk. So, without further ado, let me give you some details on Robinson's Vintage Dry Cider. Robinson's Dry Vintage Cider comes in 500ml bottles, which is the only way you can get to the cider too, at least I think so anyway. The alcohol percentage is 6% in volume, so a nice round number for a cider too. As it says, it's a dry tasting cider apparently, and the price I got this particular bottle for £2.25 of purespiritdrinks.co.uk. I'm not sure if Robinson's has their own website, but if they do, they might do it for cheaper, so if they do, check out their ciders on there. Okay, well, um, first impressions aren't really that good for me, personally. This is um, the last cider I picked because it's the one that attracted me the least towards it, because, to be honest, the front of the bottle kind of reminds me of those like Victorian medicine bottles that you see like in those Victorian documentaries or dramas that you see on TV. So, um, you know, like old English medicine that contains like cyanide or something like that. So, um, first, I, I admittedly think that they were going for like a vintage, oldie worldy sort of style to the front of it, but to be honest, it's not really appealing or attractive and kind of bland and boring really but as you know it's all in the taste but I'm just giving my views on the bottle so and there is a lot of uh, writing on the back as well which is a bit strange because the back has a black background the front has a white but you know or a creamy one but pff. let's get on with the bumps Traditional cider apple varieties like Fox Whelp, Brown Snout and Kingston Black ripen naturally without the use of sprays or pesticides before being gathered, milled, pressed and fermented here at Little Hereford we use old-fashioned, low-intensity growing methods and soft and select our fruit by hand. Sorry, that says sort. The, uh, it looks like an F from here. It takes the juice from more than two pounds of healthy apples to make every bottle of Robinson's Fine Dry 2010 Vintage Cider. The result is delicious and full-bodied, a unique fusion of authentic country flavour and real finesse. For best results, enjoy it chilled. Well, it's blooming freezing today, so there's no worries about that. UK health departments recommend that men should not exceed blah 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 blah, and they do indeed have their own website, robertonscider.com, so... Robertson's Cider in Tenbury since Adam was a boy. I don't know who Adam was, and um, but apparently they've been making cider since he was a boy, so that's all good. And uh, I think their slogan is, The Town in the Orchard, because that's what it has on the front. And apparently it actually is located in Tenbury. So, there we go, that's all the bump out of the way. Um, so, I'm expecting a full-bodied, delicious, authentic country flavour, real finesse cider from this. So, without further ado, I'm going to go and get this top open and see if the description matches the taste. Now then, oh, I can smell it already. Ooh, wow, 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 that, that is uh, really, really dry. Really dry and bitter, kind of, um, kind of oaky. Wow, that instantly reminds me of Henry Weston's Vintage that has the exact same smell. Like, really strong, really robust, and you can definitely, well, you can smell it's really full-bodied. 
Nice old apple aroma is coming off of this. Um, Kingston Black, again, that probably uh, is adding to the bitterness of it. I must admit, I've never heard of brown snout apples before, so that'll be interesting to see what they uh, add to the taste. Right, let's go and pour this in the glass then. I've waited long enough for this. I'm hoping that the cider is going to be a lot better tasting than, um, than like the front of the bottle leads you to believe. Oh, it's got a nice colour. Wow, it's pouring really nice. Oh, awesome. Right, well, there we go. You probably can't really see it that well in this light, but I'll describe it. It's um, a very dark amber-coloured cider. Not as much as uh, Guatkin Arlington Mill, but it's a very, um, yeah, definitely a very dark amber colour there. Very uh, lightly carbonated too, as you can see, all little bubbles there. So that's all really cool. Now then, let's get a sniff in the glass. Hmm. Yeah, that's um. Yeah, it's got real bitterness to it, definitely, and uh. Hmm. Has kind of lost its uh. Has kind of lost its smell a bit, but uh, I've heard a little technique from uh, Beer Goggles Reviews, Terry K, which if you've uh, not checked out his channel yet, please do. But apparently, if you um, if you like, if you take a big in intake of your hand or arm or somewhere like that kind of resets your nose apparently so let's try it again hmm no still really not getting much um, from the glass so it was all contained in the bottle so I'm just gonna have to go and dive right into this glass so bottoms up whoa blimey that is that's really intense cool wow that was <laughs> that was real tang that's got real tang to it even now cool i wasn't expecting that at all okay well you've definitely got the bitterness of the uh, kingston black in this cider but it's either the brown snout or the um oh what was the other one fox whelp it's either the fox whelp or the brown snout and it's giving this real Almost like a real tang to it, um, kind of a, kind of like a sour note as well. But it's not like the uh, the artificial like a, you know sour sweet sort of taste. It's a real proper sour um, sour bitter taste. I'm gonna go for a second opinion. Mmm. Oh wow, that is nice. There's a sort of a smoky undertone to it as well, and I am actually getting a slight hint of either like, like sort of a citrusy sort of taste to it too, either like, you know, lemons or limes, something like that. Mmm. Yeah, really tangy, really bitter side of this. Um, it's got a, the aftertaste is quite smoky, like, you, um, almost like if you've ever tasted like smoked kippers or something like that. It's kind of like got that smoky characteristic, obviously without the fishy smell to it. But, um, oh wow! Really intense, really rich flavours coming from this cider. Blimey! From the bottle I was not expecting this sort of taste, which is kind of silly because this is a real cider I'm having here, not one of these industrial, industrially made ones, but, you know, to be honest, you know, the front of the bottle doesn't leave much to the imagination, so it's all in taste, as they say. And, wow, this is a really impressive cider so far. Gonna get another one. Mmm. Cool. All those flavours just come and hit you right at the start. And they just do not let up, even after, um, even after you've actually you know, swallowed, swallowed the um, gulp of cider, the taste still lingers there and still really attacks your throat and your palate and just, wow, taste sensation here guys, seriously, this is really something else. If you like your, your bitter, sour, citrusy sort of ciders, then this one is going to be right up your alley because this, this is really something else. When it says, well, when it says vintage cider on the front, you expect real quality, and with Robinson's, you are definitely getting that. Wow, that's really, really amazing. Cool. I'm uh, going to get another one, actually. 
Mm. And it's really full body too. The description definitely matches that. Full bodied without having the industrial artificial gummy sort of texture to it, like syrupy. You know, it's just really, really full bodied and yeah, the tastes just really linger in your throat. That is wow, that is amazing. And it obviously it is a dry it is a dry cider, but it doesn't leave your throat feeling dry as though you've just um you know, gotta take another sip. This is one that you can definitely take your time over. Not one to rush, definitely. Sorry, Belch. Mm -hmm. Sorry, excuse me. No, it's a bit rude, but hey, that's the sign of a good cider right there. <laughs> but, oh, wow. I've, um, I've heard of Robinsons before. I think they specialise more in their real ales, so I think this might be the only cider... Well, it says Robinsons Cider on it, so... I could be wrong, maybe there's another Robinsons out there that does real ales and this one does ciders. Who knows? But either way, if they do more ciders, I'm definitely going to try them out because this is something special here, guys. Seriously. Whoa. Right, well, I'm going to go and get a final taste before the final verdict. Mmm. Mmm such flavours coming off of this. Just, it's just got such tanginess, such, you know, sour, bitter tastes. It's just all melded together just in this absolutely amazingly tasting cider. Wow. Totally wasn't expecting that at all. This is a real surprise. And I might actually, um, you know, I might actually go ahead and say this, but I think I might have actually saved the best or last in this uh, particular mixed case because all the other ciders that I've had so far from, um, you know, the one from uh, PureSpiritDrinks.co.uk have been great, but this is just kind of like on another level. This is superb. So, uh, well, I think it's going to be no surprise here, guys, but I've only given it out twice before, but... Robinson's Fine Dry Vintage Cider very easily gets a 9.5 out of 10 for me and the Cider Drinker Seal of Approval. There you go, that's my seal of approval. Um, but no, seriously, go on Pure Spirit Drinks or the Robinson's website and track down a bottle of this. £2.25, well spent here, definitely. This has been an absolutely, well, still is an absolutely amazing cider. And, well, I'm completely blown away by that. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, well, well, that was another episode of The Cider Drinker for you guys. Whew, hope you enjoyed watching it, because I certainly enjoyed drinking it for you guys. So, well, until next time, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider. Obviously, this is the last of the mixed cases from, from Pure Spirit Drinks so far. But as you saw from my intro, I have got quite a few more ciders to try for you guys yet. And obviously there's plenty more ciders in the sea as well. So, if you don't mind, I'm just going to sit back, relax and enjoy this glass of exquisite Robinson's Extra Dry Vintage Cider. Seriously, track this down guys, you won't be disappointed. Until next time guys, take care.